Greetings everyone. This is an earthquake watch for February 17 through to February 20. The last few days we have seen significant solar disturbances, most notably an X-class flare, Earth directed today. I do believe that during this watch period there is a possibility of an 8 plus earthquake. We're looking at the latest solar wind telemetry and we get to see a significant rise in solar winds over the last 24 hours and this is due to the sunspot region 11158 being more earth facing. I do believe over the next 24 hours once this sunspot moves away from the earth facing position we're going to be receiving a significant movement in solar winds mainly due to the coronal hole in the northern hemisphere being more earth facing and the earth receiving the translation from this. Significant solar disturbances have been recorded on the GOES X-ray flux monitor. Initially we received an M6.6 .6 class solar flare late February 13 followed up by a very powerful X2.2 .2 class event earlier this morning. Okay we're going to be looking at some coronal holes to see where this 8 plus earthquake may be. We're looking at currently the southern hemisphere and we can see a very powerful and large southern polar coronal hole and also this very active sunspot region just under the equator located around 20 degrees south latitude. We're looking at the northern hemisphere now and we can see two large coronal holes that have caught my attention. The first coronal hole has manifested itself quite rapidly over the last 24 to 36 hours and this second one is the main concern. It's been around for a while and I do believe that this is going to fit in quite well with the earthquake watch and I do feel that this is where the 8 plus earthquake may be. Okay, I'm going to be plotting and charting some areas now that are of main concern and I'll do this right now. The main area of concern would be 26 to 29 degrees north latitude and that'll fit in this coronal hole. Okay, I'm going to be plotting some areas that I feel would be most at risk for this potentially large earthquake and the most likely area in play would be the Japan Islands and we do have two areas that would be most at risk if an earthquake were to occur in this region and I feel that the Benin Islands would be most in play for this large earthquake as it has been activated in the recent past and it, we do have a very active fault line. Now the perhaps the most symmetrical would be the region adjacent to and that's the Ryukyu Islands. Now there is an extra problem with this region if we do get this large earthquake. We do have some volcanoes that are active in this region and this poses as an extra threat for the Japan region so we do need to keep a close eye on this area. I do feel that the Ryukyu Islands and the angle is perhaps more symmetrical and this will probably be the most dangerous result um, if we do have an earthquake during this watch. The second area of concern would be the Gulf of California. Now this area hasn't really had a lot of activity in around the danger regions that I've plotted the 29 to 26 degrees north latitude for a while. The majority of the activity has been at the base of the Gulf of California so this will give it a less likely potential of an earthquake in this region. However in the past we have had some 6.6 .6 earthquakes in and along these fault lines so I would say that there is a potential of an earthquake in this region also. My third area of concern would be the regions above the Indian Plate. We do have some recent activity here that would indicate potentially of a foreshock of a larger event. The Nepal earthquake occurred yesterday at 4.5 and the Indian Bangladesh border region a day early received a 4.0 and this could actually indicate that perhaps a larger event may be on the horizon so this would be my third area of concern. And it's also worth keeping an eye on the La Palma volcano in the Canary Islands as this region is also in that danger zone that I've plotted 26 to 29 degrees north latitude so we do need to keep an eye on this region although that the coronal hole doesn't seem to match um, we do need to keep a close eye on this. Okay looking at the AIA193 angstrom and looking at the southern hemisphere there is a magnetic filament still attached to the sun although very faint there's also a vortex sort of feel on the very edge of the uh, solar corona and I do feel that we may receive some sort of earthquake in this region also perhaps 6.2 to 6.5 in magnitude and the most likely areas would be south 45 to 50 degrees. If we do get a large earthquake in the southern hemisphere it would more than likely be the base of New Zealand extending down to the Macquarie Islands. This is a fairly active fault line and I do believe that the coronal hole seems to be fairly symmetric to this region. Now there is a concern that the Christchurch region may be involved. It does sit at 43 degrees south latitude and it is fairly close to the area that I'm worried about so we do need to um, keep a close eye on this also.
Okay, looking at the latest moving imagery with the SDO and the most prominent feature is the sunspot region here and it's showing an excessive amount of activity and it's going to continue to do so for the next day or two so we should be seeing a lot more x-ray activities uh, recorded on the GOES x-ray flux monitor. Now we do get to see a magnetic filament still attached to the sun which extends down towards the limb here so that's also worth keeping an eye on. It is not as well defined as this um, time last year but it is still a filament and we haven't seen one uh, for a while on the solar corona and I picked up a filament eruption just above here and this is quite powerful so we may be receiving uh, some more solar disturbances in the telemetry in the coming hours based on this um, energy release here on the solar corona. Okay that's my earthquake watch for today. I will attach my planetary alignment video which falls at the beginning of the watch February 16 and 17 for anyone who's interested. It's also worth noting that we do have a full moon that falls in and around this region and also king tides which may play a role. I do feel that the main area of concern will be the Japan Islands for this watch. Thanks for watching.